The annual ban on drumming and noise making within the jurisdiction of the Ga and Englishi Alata Traditional Council in the Greater Accra region takes effect from today, Monday, May 13. It will span a period of one month ending on Thursday, June 13. A press release signed by the Head of Public Affairs for the Accra Metropolitan Assembly, Gilbert Ni Ankra, urged all villages and towns under the Ga and Englishi Alata Traditional Council to comply with the ban. Uh, let's speak with uh, Numo Blafo III. Uh, he's a Ga Blafo. Wulamo uh, joins us on the uh, joins us live in the studio. Thank you, sir, for your time. So, what's the essence of this ban? Um, thank you. Um, you see, actually, that's the time for we, the chief priests, and then the chiefs. You are chief priest. Yes. Mm. To go into our holy places. Holy places. Yes. To ask for blessings, guidance, because you know, this is the time to farmers actually are preparing for. They are farming activities like planting before harvesting. Mm -hmm. And this is the time to fishermen are also readying themselves for the bumper fish harvest. Right. So this is the time we go pray for bumper harvest of fish, we pray for food, we pray for blessing, and everything that is good for humanity. Mm, we have this happen annually, every year, there's yeah. a ban on noise making and drumming. Do you have this um, obeyed throughout the season? Yes, generally I would say um, people tend to obey, but we only have a few isolated cases, isolated cases mm. which normally comes about I mean, once in a while. Mm. So which specific areas in Accra, you know, are affected? Um, we're looking at Gamashi and there are villages under them. And when we're talking about Gamashi, we have Nglesi Alata. It has villages like Amamfru, Nglesi Amamfru, but parts of Bat Batiano and all those places. And then you come to Akangaji. Akangaji is also another division Actually, now English Alata is a paramountcy, but Akamaji is a division within the Gamashi or the Ga traditional area. Then Sempe and their villages, then you have Asene, Besi, Abola, and Otublohu, and all the villages and towns under these divisions. And then it will also affect Osu, but Osu people's own will begin on Friday. Okay. Yeah. So, often during this time, what's the uh, collaboration with churches? Um, we normally have meetings with them at the RCC. In fact, the RCC, the that's the Regional Council. Coordinating Council, mm -hmm. calls the Christian Council and all the other uh, religious bodies. We meet and then we all put um, forward our propositions. We discuss and then agree on modalities as to how we will or we should go about it, not forgetting what the established norm is. Mm -hmm which is that we don't want any noise. We have in the past heard of cases where uh, people from the God Traditional Council will enter churches, seize uh, their equipment, go into chop bars, you know, take out bowls and food. <laughs> I mean, is that the way to go? Um, I think there are some of the issues that come up which are actually exaggerated because you can't say if someone is eating, that person is making noise, you understand? Mm. But when our task force, and you see, there is this task force that is always set by the AMA. We have members of the AMA um, guards, and then we have people also drawn from the traditional council, and then the police, who normally go out mm. to check or to enforce this uh, ban. Mm. So sometimes, too, in areas where maybe they are not there, the chiefs in those areas also have their youth groups who right. also go out to enforce this ban. Now, some churches actually don't want to abide by the rules. Therefore, when you are playing your drums and all, and the people come, they will enter your church. There are instances where some of these churches have hired people to guide them so that they can flout the law. Mm. And in some cases, policemen. Mm. Because I've had the opportunity of being called to a place where there was this police inspector guiding the people who were playing drums to, in, to flower the during, traditional laws. Yes, mm. during that period, mm. you see. So these are the issues. Now, last year, for example, we had this issue at Abeka, 
where because there is a member of the church who is a police officer mm. so he decided to take the law into his own hands when there is the ban in place our people entered and they started beating them at the end they rather called the Tessano police to come and arrest our people mm. you, you you get me and these right. are the kind of issues that right. we, we are normally confronted with right okay thank you very much uh, Numo uh, Blafo the third uh, helping us to uh, understand some issues uh, happening within the Ghana Traditional Council. Thank you, sir, for your time.